Okay, hi again everybody, Jason from The Whistle Shop here in Waterford, Michigan. Uh, I'm going to do a video this time about the progress of these four ball and three chimes that I'm building here currently at the shop. Uh, I want to show you some of the improvements that I've made in my whistle designs and this usually comes standard if you buy your whistles from like MD Whistles or Rizzoli Locomotive Works or some other whistle builders. Um, if you remember back when I first started building these whistles, I had a real tough time with the Langwood plates not being all the way concentric with the, um, the the bowl part or the pipe that they're made out of. And now I've found a way to machine the inner part of the bowl, and with the help of Keith Fenner. Uh, who you might see his his videos on YouTube for Turn Right Machine Works, and a couple other people. They gave me some design help in making the arbor where I could put these language plates in the lathe and get them to run true, and also so they could, they could be a tight, snug fit inside the bowl itself. If you remember some of my earlier videos. I was stating that you had to push the uh, language plate around uh, and then kind of watch the um, the gap, the, the steam slot, to make sure that it looked pretty even all the way around. Well, I want to show you uh, some different stuff here. It, again, one-handed here, it's kind of hard to, to do this. I'm just going to flip this upside down on the bench. Um, uh, as you can see, the spider design hasn't changed really that much since the first whistles I was building where the languid plate could be removed. But this languid plate now, if, if you look as I put this in, it, there's no gap around that. It's not oblong. It, it, it's perfectly concentric to the bowl. The steam slot's the same all the way around. It's more prototypical than what the railroads used when they were building whistles years ago. Uh, I owe that fact to um, Chris Rizzoli. Again, you've heard me mention his name quite often in some of these videos. Um, uh, another thing I want to show you folks at home, uh, the fact that there is no, uh, no threaded rod, no all thread rod going down the center of this whistle. Uh, if you take note, the center shaft is threaded on the bottom and that mates up with the bowl. I'm going to try to kneel down here and see if I can do this one handed and keep the camera in the right spot. Okay, now I see how I'm threading it up. I'm screwing it in place. Now when this gets screwed into the bowl like you see here there's a hollow center all the way down, all the way down through the whistle into the bowl. I uh, can't really see it. The lighting's bad in here. I've either got real bright light or half dim light, and you can't really see what I'm doing. But with these uh, these new whistles, you notice the uh, nut that's welded to the top. That's the spot where you can put a wrench on and tighten it down into the bowl. Uh, I'm going to pan back a little bit here and kind of turn it aside. You can maybe get the idea. This might look better on a computer than on my phone. I'm going to have a plunger type valve where there's going to be a, a rod going down the center of this whistle into the bottom and have a uh, plunger that seats into the threaded pipe coming off the bottom of the bowl. Now these are going to have an inch and a half uh, threaded um, threaded mail pipe on the bottom with um, the valve in the bottom. So when you pull the handle, it pushes down on that rod going down the center, pushes down on the plunger in the bottom and allows the steam to rush in to the bowl around that plunger. But when you release, uh, the steam pressure will push that plunger back up and seat inside that pipe. So these are going to be the first whistles that I built here with an actual valve inside. Um, $600 is what I'm asking for these whistles plus shipping. 
600 is, I consider that to be a steal because any whistle I've seen with a valve in it is way, way, way more. So now the, another thing to keep in mind too, anytime I have to build a whistle, I'm going to start doing production of whistles where I build at least a minimum of four. So let's say if I get an order for someone wants one whistle, I'm going to actually build four of them. That way I have them on the shelf ready to go. Um, another thing uh, for you small live steamers, I want you to take a look at this little guy right here. That little guy is a two and a half inch diameter pipe that's going to be made into a three chime step top. Um, that's uh, going to be built for the little traction engine that's going to be here on August 24th for our steam show here at the shop. Um, we're building this um, so he can replace that high-pitched squealy thing that's, that he's got now, which is much smaller than this. Uh, I don't know the exact dimensions and stuff yet. I have to work on that later. This one's going to be on the back burner for a while. We've got so much other stuff going on. we got the show coming up. I'm going to try to get to a couple more shows here, uh, be in the show in Oakland, Michigan, and possibly go to the one in Buckley, Michigan as well. Um, I guess this wraps it up for this video now. Uh, you see the progress of what I've got for the four whistles. Basically, I just need to do the bottom part of the bowls and the valve and rod assembly. And then we're going to be able to test these things out. Uh, I know right now three of these are pretty much spoken for. I think I have one more left that's still up for grabs at the $600 price. This will be the only set or the only yeah, the only set of four whistles like this that I'm going to sell for 600 bucks that include a valve, okay? Um, from here on knowing how much machine time and labor I've put into these things for the four I'm already at about seven days worth, and they're still not done. I've got probably another two more days to go on these, but I'm going to have to put these aside to start that other project for our new contract, building parts and stuff for a warehouse out of Novi, Michigan. Uh, otherwise, um, that's pretty much it. So I'll do another video update somewhere down the road. Keep watching our Facebook page for updates. Thanks again.